Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I am reviewing the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. Yeah, this is the second Marvel Studios special presentation and without any further ado, let's get started with the review. And first things first is we have Star-Lord, he's kind of you know, acting depressed because of what happened with Gamora, he's, he didn't comb his hair or anything. And basically we have, um, I forgot his name, Craggle or something. He's talking to Mantis, Drax, and um, Nebula, saying that, oh, on Earth right now is around um, Christmas time. And, you know, Peter's you know, kind of depressed. And he's kind of saying, maybe we could do it to cheer him up. And Nebula, you know, she has her own thing, which is fine. And Nebula's like, we're not from Earth. We, we don't celebrate the commercial that is Christmas but and even Mantis put himself like but Nebula Peter's so sad because of what happened with you know Gamora we even see the Santa like deflating and we have Peter he's like eating peanuts and he's drinking he's just he's so sad this is this holiday season and we have them it this kind of reminds me of the um Cosmic Rewind of from the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. I haven't went on it yet, but I really want to go on it. If you have been on it, right, you know, tell me in the comments and tell me how it is. Like, because I've seen videos of it, but you, you only know what a ride is really like until you actually go on it. Because you know, I've seen videos on Mummy, but when I actually went on the Mummy ride in Universal Studios, I actually been on it. Like, I actually felt it. So, if you guys have been on it, tell me how it is, you know? It was pretty cool to go through, like, the, the portal and stuff. And you have Nebula, it's like, how about we go to Earth and celebrate Christmas for Peter? And they're kind of like, oh, okay. And they're kind of, this invisible spaceship, they land in Hollywood. And, and the Mantis is like, we can cheer him up. And look, we basically have uh, Mantis and Drax. And this is what's saying in my reaction. Maybe people will kind of settle down with the whole... How do people know the superheroes? Maybe this will solve the Drax problem if this takes place before Miss Marvel. I'm not sure if it does because how did that one guy dress up as Drax? I'm not going to overreact and go super berserk mad like some people were, were kind of doing. Not everyone, but some people were kind of like that. Hopefully this will sell us some things if this takes before if this takes place before Miss Marvel. Because look, Drax is on Earth right here. Maybe this person was in Hollywood at the time. We don't know. But again, if this was after, it doesn't solve the problem. But you know what I mean. And they're basically walking around Hollywood. Obviously, they're kind of confused by stuff. But Mantis is so excited. And the perfect present. And we have Rocket. It's like showing a spotlight. And look at Peter. He's just so like amazed. Like, whoa. And it's a galaxy away. And they're at a party. You have this guy dressed up like as Santa. He has a hat. He has a beard. <laughs> um, we have someone doing like a dance. We have Mantis wearing sunglasses. And I love this. They're kind of doing the um, secret Santa, or maybe just just giving presents. But I love this. Look. Look at Peter. Look how happy Peter is. It's giving Gru like a little pat on the shoulder, like thank you for the present. I'm not sure if this is specifically from Gru, or maybe he's just happy that Groot's here with him. But he's like buffer Gru, which is pretty nice. And we even had Drax hug Mantis. I love it. And then Drax like, hey, how about we find them the perfect present, like you and me? Let's work together. And then Mantis is like, hey, how about someone? And then they go to Kevin Bacon's house. <laughs> That's instant reaction. Is this his real house? Probably not. But the... Oh, what's this called? Vivint? I'm not sure this is like a real thing. But I love this. Man, it's like, We're looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. And then Drax says the same thing. We're looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. And we have Kevin Bacon. Look, look at the tablet saying, like, Who the heck are these days to? I love their dynamic. Man, it's like, Drax, I literally just said that. And Drax like, your voice is so mouse mousy. He probably didn't hear you. <laughs> then, without any announcement, he just through the window. Look at Kevin Bacon. It's a real guy. He's like ah. 
And I loved it. It was so nice. Jack is like, Kevin Bacon, you need to come with us for our, our friend. Like, as a Christmas present. Obviously, he's freaked out by this. Because he has no idea who the Guardians of the Galaxy is. I don't think the Avengers ever explained who they are. So he just knocked down the Christmas tree to kind of block their path. That's not going to stop them. And we have starring Star-Lord, um, Mantis, Drax. And we, we have Nebula. Look at her her lonesome, but she's here. She kind of wants to cheer Peter, but she's kind of like, eh, whatever. <laughs> uh, hopefully she'll be happy. You know something? You know, you know what? You know what would be funny? It looked kind of weird, but if you watched the What If series, I know a lot of people weren't a fan of it. I thought I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good overall. There was one What If? What was it? Um, What If? Um, Black Panther was Star Lord, I think. Nebula had blonde hair. I think it'd be pretty funny if they find a blonde wig and she puts it on to cheer Peter or something. I think that'd be I think that'd be a hoot. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I think that'd be pretty funny. It would get her out of that funk. But you you, you know that like state she's in. Like p put her in one wig. <clears throat> oh oh, she moved her arm. Maybe she's gonna do something, who knows? Um but yeah, she's like in a like a stanky mood. I change um um, funk to um, stink to kind of make sure there isn't any miscommunication with another certain word that kind of sounds like another word. So I just using stank face instead, just in case. But we have, you know, um, oh, Craglin, I guess that's his name. Okay. We have Craglin, we have Cosmo. I don't like how Rocket is in the same frame as Cosmo in sort of way. It has a dog tree for him. Pretty nice. And we have Groot. We even hear his voice like, I am Groot. And, oh, he's wearing the, um, reindeer, um, reindeer antlers headband. And introducing Kevin Bacon. Oh, yeah, but he's, he hasn't been introduced in the MCU before. Obviously, he's not going to have, like, a big role unless he does in the comics, but I don't, I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't think so. But we have <laughs> Drax and Mantis. Mantis has a candy cane. Does order on trampolines? Who knows, maybe they have bouncy boots. They're just going after him. <laughs> and it says the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Original special streaming November 25th. And then you have Disney Plus. But, um, yeah, um... <sighs> excuse me, excuse me. I'm so sorry. But yeah, this seems like a ton of fun. This definitely feels like Guardians of the Galaxy. Mantis and Drax working together. I love that. Nebula, I think, again, again, I think it'd be pretty funny. Put her in a blonde wig. I don't know. I think it'd be pretty funny. We have, um, you know, Peter kind of acting depressed by him being amazed by the whimsical lights and getting that present from crew, giving crew a little pat on the shoulder. I love it. Will, will Gamora show up? I, I don't know. But, again, Rocket didn't really have too much to do in his trailer, but... He didn't really need to. I think really the main focus is that it's going to be Peter as one plot and Mantis and Drax as another plot. Because we really because we really have Drax and Mantis really sealed the show in this trailer. Which is fine. I, I wouldn't mind that. Um, so will Nebula and Rocket and Groot have a big part to play? It seems like the big part for Groot to play is handing out the presents and be like the secret Santa type of guy be saying I am Groot and I am Groot and I am Groot and <laughs> say that say that type of stuff oh, but they can't understand this okay this presents for this person but it seems like multiple people are getting multiple presents pretty cool will Kevin Bacon not be kidnapped and actually enjoy being with Peter Quill and actually maybe maybe oh you know what maybe Kevin Bacon will kind of show up or be kidnapped by Drax and Mantis because they will obviously catch up with them saying oh you guys are insane kidnap me and Peter kind of explains oh, I'm so sorry for my friends my family my, my family to capture you like this they were just trying to cheer me up I've been in a bit of a bad place because of my kind of kind of my girlfriend dumped me or something it, it's something weird like that because you don't want to explain time travel to Kevin Bacon it'll just be weird <laughs> you're, just, you're just meant to guy but he's just saying like hey but I know this maybe won't mean enough to you but you mean a lot to me like you're you're my hero you you, you be, be 
um, basically you inspire me to always get back up when someone puts me or one of my family members down. You, you're my hero. Maybe Kevin Bacon would be see like, okay, so these people really mean a lot to you for, um, obviously mean a lot for you, for them to kidnap me, to bring them to me. And maybe he'll save for the party. If he doesn't, uh, I guess I understand it. They kidnapped him. I, I get it. But maybe Peter would kind of explain like, hey, you, you're my idol. You can leave if you want, but you're my idol. It would be really awesome if you could say. Maybe that will happen. Who knows? Because I don't want Peter and his like, idol to leave on a sour note, right? That, that Especially on Christmas, that would be so disheartening, right? But I also don't want him just to stay here just as an obligation either. Or, oh, I'm just staying here so I don't get like hurt or anything. Because that would be disheartening either. Because obviously, audience, we, we would recognize that. Like, oh, I don't want Kevin Bacon to stay here just to feel like he has to. Or he's like afraid of them. Especially maybe because Peter's smart, so he'd be able to figure that out, like, oh, my my idol's, like, afraid of me, like, I wouldn't want that, so hopefully everything will turn out good, especially this is Christmas, come on, everyone should be happy. Um, again, we have Buff Crew, pretty cool. Um, we have Rocket feeding Cosmo, okay, and he was like, he's in charge of the lights, remember, he had the spotlight, he's in charge of the lights. Hopefully we'll get snow. If it's fake snow, okay. But hopefully we'll get real snow. That authentic snow. I love it. Um, I wonder how... Well, saying they're having a Christmas on Earth, on Earth. Because I was thinking, like, how big of a portion of the special we're going to be on Earth? I'm thinking for, like, a mass majority of it. Um, I wonder what I'm going to say to Peter to not... Let him be suspicious of what's going on because it seems like it's gonna be like a surprise party. Because he was really shocked when he saw like the lights and stuff. So I wonder what they're gonna say. Like, oh, there's like trouble on Earth. Like, there's like a battle. Uh, do we really want to do that? Hmm. I don't know. Um. So let's see. Was there anything else? Again, will Gamora show up? Will Nebula put on the blonde wig? Again, that'd be pretty funny. Um. Will other characters show up? Because again, the Avengers are aware of them, but according to um, some unnamed sources that there is no current quote-unquote Avengers, like actual team. So... I guess they wouldn't really know any of them personally. Yeah. The only one I can really think is maybe it's be, be kind of funny. And... Because you would want Spider-Man at your birthday, right? Um, maybe, maybe Peter as Spider-Man. Because obviously, spoilers for No Way Home, they don't know that Spider-Man is Peter, but they know that Spider-Man helped them during the fight in Infinity War and Endgame. So Peter knows Spider-Man is, and he probably remembers that he's like a kid, but not just he's Peter Parker. Maybe Spider-Man will show up. Who knows? I mean, because. Um, Peter has gotten to know Tony, not for a lot, like, like, like Nebula, but um, P Peter kind of knows him, so, but Tony's gone, so. And again, Nebula was hanging out with Tony, but, you know, again, he's gone, so. Is there any, anyone else? Uh, I mean, um, Doctor Strange, maybe? <laughs> Doctor Strange and Wong? Well, well I guess Wong can just show up because they, they don't they don't know about Wong. Hmm. Trying to think of any other heroes or characters could show up. Yeah, I, that's all I can think of like right now is that's Doctor Strange, Wong, and Spider Man. Yeah. And we can actually get like a feeling of Peter being kind of happy because again after Spider-Man Spider -Man went home, I don't want to spoil anything, but he was kind of sad, but he had like a sense of duty, like a sense of purpose, you know, because when one part of your life fades away, another part of your life moves on and like has a new beginning. That's all I'm going to say. Again, go watch No Way Home. It's, it's amazing. But um, yeah, maybe Spider-Man will show up. Um, Spider-Man has hanged out with the... Guardians of the Galaxy and other like shows and comics, I believe. So it wouldn't be too surprising, at least for me personally. So I don't know, maybe because I just don't want anyone like um 
Miss Marvel to show up because Miss Marvel wouldn't know anything about the Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, I mean, she shouldn't. Does she know that? Anyway, um, so this is my review of the new trailer. Um, again, this was um, this was fantastic. Um, I really enjoyed this. Again, I have, you know, I have a little bit of questions. They're not big like multiverse questions. It's questions like, could this happen? Um, and, um, yeah, everyone don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, give me a big, th big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, don't forget to share the video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Ultraviolet and Black Scorpion Season 1, Episode 11. Yeah. Yep, I'll see you guys for that review. And yeah, I'll see you guys for that for t tomorrow. Um, okay.